For these questions, you're going to compare the numbers and write if they're greater, less than, or equal to. So to compare means to look at the numbers to help decide which value is the biggest or which is the smallest or which are the same. And then you're going to use the symbols. This is the less than symbol. A symbol shows that the first number is less than the second number. The greater than sign shows that the first number is greater than the second number. And the equal sign shows that the first number and the second number are exactly the same. If you have trouble remembering which is which, remember that the sign is always opened to the bigger number. So let's look at some strategies for solving these types of problems. So if we look at number one, this is a strategy you can use if each number has the same amount of digits. So when we look at this number, we can see that there are seven digits. And if we look at this number, we can see that there are also seven digits. If there are the same number of digits in each number, you can just start at the largest place value and begin comparing there. So we would compare the one with the five. And just ask yourself, which is bigger, one or five? So since one is less, 1,207,689 is going to be less than 5 million. So we're going to use the less than sign. So when you read this number, it says 1,207,689 is less than 5,052,289. But notice also that this symbol is still opened to the greater number. Even though it's called a less than symbol, it still opens up to the greater number. So let's look at number two. Now remember for the strategy on number one, I said to first make sure they have the same number of digits and they both had seven, but oftentimes you're gonna run into problems that you have to compare with different number of digits. So this problem, the first number has six digits and the second number has seven digits. When you run into problems like this, it makes it easier to see if you write the numbers vertically up and down. So you just find some blank space and you rewrite the numbers, making sure that you keep them lined up. So on this one, 876 goes in this period, 512 goes in this period, and we see that we have that extra digit. When you write it this way, you can see automatically that this number is bigger. So I'm using the symbol to open to the bigger number, and it's read 963,962 is less than 3,512,876. So let's look at number three. Again, we have a five-digit number, and we're comparing it with a seven-digit number. Well, if you only have five digits and you have seven digits, you know that the seven digit number is going to be bigger. So 86,874 86, is less than 8,719,995. Okay, let's look at one more type of problem. Sometimes you have to compare numbers that look very similar, and it's really hard to tell just by glancing which one's bigger. In this case, you want to start with the greatest place values, the millions, and compare those first. So we have 9 million and 9 million. Since they're the same, I put a little mark through them and move on to the next place value to try to compare and find out which one's bigger. So again, you see I have 6 and 6. They're the same. So I need to move to the next place value. I'm going to look at the 10,000s place. And again, I see 7 and 7. So I can't really compare again. So I'm going to move to the next place, the thousands place. At the thousands place, I see a three and a zero. Finally, they're different, so I can stop there and just compare the numbers. Since three is greater than zero, this number is going to be greater than that number. All right, you try the rest of the problems yourself. Take your time and use strategies. It will help you be more accurate. Good luck.